it's <laughs> such a critically acclaimed and celebrated film, and of course your leading lady is nominated. Yes. And you're so low-key with your hat, and you're just... I have to bring you a little bit closer. I'm going to direct you. Yeah, that's a better. Okay. Well, first of all, I would love to hear what does it mean for you to be here tonight celebrating Kodak? I love... I mean, we really wanted to shoot this on film. Nicholas Katz-Kantanis, who's my DP, very early on as we were talking about the style of the movie, we said it has to be film. And it's not just for the texture of it, which is was important, but the style that we were shooting it in, which was this very fast and very immediate, no marks on the ground, and almost losing focus sometimes. So it makes you really feel like you're in the moment. Right. And you do that with film, and it can look beautiful when you lose the focus. But in digital, it, digital's so sharp that you immediately feel it. And it kind of takes you out of it a little bit. So more for the technique of how we're going to shoot it, we wanted film. Even more than than the uh, you know that that filmic quality that you get, but just the just the whole the whole composition of it. And we shot two perf, and I love all those flares you get. I'm always curious when you're directing uh, somebody like Margot Robbie, and it's a role where she's not necessarily supposed to look as aesthetically, uh, right. I would say, polished in the sure. character. What, is, what are the things that you look to do and how do you really like pull that out to show just a completely different side of her character? It's funny and honestly... I'm going to pull you a little closer this way. Nicholas would say this, is uh, our DP. We, again, with the style that we were doing, we wanted to be able to almost have 360 degree lighting, which is not pretty lighting. So they could go anywhere, the marks could be anywhere, and as Nicholas would say, just having film is itself a look. Like, is a style to, the, right. to it. So, like, again, he thought, like, digitally, you really wouldn't want to do that, but film gives you a little more of that luxury because there's a, you're already putting a look on it by using film. What was it like to find, to find Margot for that? Margot found me. Really? Yeah, she so hired did me. other actresses read, or it was always her project? Right? Because I know she was project. a producer, right? I, yeah, on she, got, she got the project and was producing it, and then they went on a director search. How, what was that like? You get a call, and they're like, here's this yeah. and that. I mean, it's, take, it's, me, take me back to when you were first. It's not like... Um, I find it's so hard to make a movie. It's such a collaborative experience. So I've learned that when you go in, you have to be really clear about what you're going to do. So whether it was Margo or whether it was... I, I met all the producers on this. Like, Brian Unclus was the first. Right. Went in, I met him for a couple of hours. He's like, all right, now you need to meet Stephen, who's the writer on it, Stephen Rogers. And, and uh, I also met with Tom Ackley, who's uh, a producer with Margo. But Stephen, we sat and talked for three hours. And then finally, they're like, now you, let's meet Margo. And Margo and I sat down, just the two of us, and she had two questions. She said, how are you going to do the tone? It's like this intangible thing that everybody talks about that how do you actually capture that and we talked about that for an hour and about what about that for an hour okay. and then the other one was um actually how are you going to do the violence in the film because there was so much violence in the script right. and we talked about that for a long time and that and after that we were so in sync i guess she hired man last question i mean what do you think i just as a woman filmmaker and reporter myself, I really am so inspired when other women get to step into that role instead of just being the audition process and hoping to read. Yeah, yeah. Actually coming on board and producing it and hiring the director. Yeah, no. Do you hope to see more of that? And what I, is your advice to really further that? For I love that, that she's, got, she's obviously got star power and I love that that's how she's channeling it. Yeah. Because it helps us all the way around because she's, she's kind of, you know, she's got a lot of star power. So when she needs to like you know use her weight to get something done like whether we're talking about film or whether you know it's like uh, music choices or getting things signed off on she can really help out and and having her behind you and really backing you was huge are you ready for sunday yeah i'm ready <laughs> i'm ready for monday <laughs> right it's always nice to breathe the air but i mean just your thoughts on she of course was nominated for best actress and you directed that so she brought so much of her own but what did it feel like that's also a nod to you as a director it's an amazing you know allison's nominated too yes of course <laughs> cannot forget um it's been an amazing run it's like because 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 it's been such a personal film like and we all worked on it together we all had an objective and a goal and we're also in sync with it and the fact that it's been received like this has been a little shocking like we really just had a very strong take on what we wanted to do but I didn't think of it necessarily as an awards 